Hey everybody, my name is Rido, and today we're starting Law and Order Legacies. I've been going through the Telltale Games collection that's available on Steam, and Law and Order Legacies does kind of have an interesting legacy in the fact that it is the game that came out right between Jurassic Park, which is quite possibly one of the worst games ever made, and The Walking Dead, which is quite possibly one of the most innovative games at least in the past decade or two and this is just kind of in the middle oddly for steam it seems there there are none of the csi games that telltale made and the wallace and gromit game is not available for some reason but this is here and clearly you can see with this white background this looks like this was originally made for a Wii. Big buttons here. Oddly, when I push my controller, my mouse cursor, if you watch it here, will disappear. But there's no highlight shadow, so if I was to hit the A button, I have no idea what the cursor is selecting. Uh, interesting uh, level of desperation also to get people to go to Telltale Games website because this button clicks to open that but if you click over here this button also takes you to Telltale's website this button takes you to their blog this button takes you to their Twitter this space button takes your Facebook and their YouTube so uh, not that old of a game of uh, still a little odd you have to click back uh, you can't just click on the side um, I I think this was originally going to be Law and Order Los Angeles, but they decided to go with Legacies to introduce uh, characters that are favorites. Unfortunately, I don't really watch the Law and Order series, never really liked them, so I won't be able to tell you who any of these characters are, or particularly even what we're doing. It came out in English, French, and German, and this is a modern enough game that it has subtitles, goes up to 1080p, does full screen. Doesn't start that way, but it works. And that's really all we need to know. This came out in 2011. This should hopefully be somewhere in the middle. Possibly, fingers crossed, better than halfway between Jurassic Park and uh, the, the Walking Dead. Uh, after this game, I only have a couple, uh, well, the Tales from the Monkey Island series, which is airing in my kid's slot, which is an earlier time, an hour earlier than this, when this will air, and then there's just the m new games, things like Batman, the next season of, uh, The Walking Dead, uh, and Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, the next season of Minecraft Story Mode. And I've played so many Telltale games, I'm not sure I even really want to go through a lot of them, honestly. Uh, I think I probably want to get off the train and start covering a new series of games or a new company. I'm not sure I'll particularly ever cover an entire company in general because that's a little weird and instead we'll go with series of games so if there's a, a number one and number two and number three and try to work that way so this time slot will still probably be focused around point and clicks point and click adventures but uh it'll be a little bit more varied but we don't need that whole, all of that set up let's play so episodic we have all of the episodic so we can see that they, these episodes might very well be completely unconnected or maybe they will be slightly connected uh, at the end and not until then. I know the whole idea of Law and Order is that half of the episode is focused on the courtroom and half of the episode is focused on the police. So in theory there should be probably two police actors and two courtroom actors in every law and order episode which is going to be an odd way to play a game 
we see here there's an actual score system which is definitely a remnant of Jurassic Park uh, whereas by the time you're at Walking Dead there's no score system or anything like that it remembers your actions and pretends like those are important decisions but in all actuality by the time you were at the end of the first season of Walking Dead not really any decision you made mattered more it was kind of more important that you just played consistently and remembered the choices you made also the walking dead was broken up and released episodically so over such a long period of time if you were playing it as the episodes were coming out that'd be a big problem to remember so let's see what happens when they hit a nothing okay I'm hoping in the, criminal justice system, the controller the starts working by two separate now that we're in the groups, game. The police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Interesting, this logo looks better than it does, I think, on TV. Why do we have a save file icon? Phones look pretty modern. The 3D models look pretty good. They're not going for anything super realistic, of course. Hmm. Welcome back to New York, Ray. Ray Curtis from the 27, Homicide. This is my case. Mine too, now. Olivia Benson, SCU. So, I imagine... Yeah, I got a call the victim showed signs of sexual assault. Your lieutenant said you guys were a little short-handed and my partner is on leave. So I'm here to assist. Yeah. So these are like the Everybody actors from cups, the five different Law & Order shows. I think... Name tag says Rachel. Judging from the uniform... The subtitles aren't working, by the way. Oh, um, up until a few hours ago. I guess someone didn't like the mint on their pillow. I think the Law & Order series no longer airs at all. There might be one left and that's it. Uh, they got very big and, and it's not an exaggeration to say five. This is very odd for them to tie in animated pictures of people into the intro uh, with pictures of people who aren't animated. Hola. Soy Detective Ray Curtis. Soy Teresa Restrepo. Now the Restrepo. subtitles aren't working. Colombian? Yes, how'd you know? The neighbors hmm. across the hall when I was growing up, they made the best patacones. I get hungry just remembering. I need to ask you a few questions. Interesting. Okay talk? Yes, believe it or not, Interesting I've been story. Okay. So, oddly, the controller hides things, but it seems like the, it literally would only be Wiimote support. Something where you could point a Wiimote or some other cursor that I've never heard of existing at something. Because, yeah, it's just disappearing. So we'll play with mouse. That's not a big deal. It is a bigger deal, I suppose, that the subtitles aren't on. Let's see. Subtitles off. Subtitles on. I guess that's what the deal is here. By the way, this library button just tells you the episodes that you have unlocked. Alright, let's play again. Resume. So we don't even have to do that. Hmm. Now, I just played L.A. Noir that had this star system and deciding if people are lying or telling the truth. I wonder if that's what's going to happen here. It seems like there's two lines of conversation I can have and I'll be tested. Clearly, though, this is in development, or it must have been in development before even Jurassic Park, because Jurassic Park had cursor support, uh, controller support, and it had the dialogue in your standard telltale uh, layout that's pretty standard these days where there's a line of conversation here, 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 and here, each to each button. 
This is cov covering up the entire screen. Let's start with an easy one. Can you tell me the victim's name? Maybe. Hmm. I... It's, it's hard to remember. So many girls working here. Everybody always coming and going. I just learned to read the name tags like everyone else. Well, could you try for me? Didn't. Sure, you got nice eyes. Uh, let's see. Um, it wasn't Latina. It was... Uh, ah, it was Rachel, I think. Hmm. Wait a minute. Like, didn't the other lady tell me her name tag said something else? And we can go back to the dialogue. Even. Hmm. Hmm. Name tag says Rachel. So the name tag did say Rachel and Rachel. So we can confirm and say, do we believe her? And that's, I guess, will be one start. We're just tutorializing here, but in a very odd way. And I can't just pick up this window and move it out of the way. Correct. Good job, detective. Boy, is that breaking. Uh, is that game breaking I imagine that won't ever happen again for every question you actually correct you're on a star the computer the counter shows you how many stars you've earned during the part of the investigation along with how many stars you need to earn to ace the interview okay the number of stars you earn throughout the episode will determine your detective rank you can earn bonus stars by being a diligent investigator all right Can you back it up with evidence? Benson said the victim's name tag was... Uh, the victim's name tag said Rachel. Benson commented the ID belonged to a girl named Rachel. That's not as accurate as this. Maid probably has a crush on Curtis and wants to impress them. The maid does not have a work fee, and so therefore will not lie. I, this is, wow, just immediate racism. <laughs> All maids don't have work visas and they're, and therefore they're, they will not lie. Wow. Correct, good job, detective. Her statement confirms the name tag detective Benson's found on the body, so we know that Teresa's telling the truth. Well, we heavily suspected it's still very possible that the victim wasn't named Rachel and she was just wearing a name tag that said Rachel and sh and this lady just read her name tag. You must remember evidence and testimony to help you judge truth from lies. Well, that's going to be kind of difficult. If you need, you may consult the transcript before you make your decision. The icon will appear in the upper left corner when the transcript is available. Great. Thanks, Teresa. So, uh, so I suppose that it's going to be pretty easy. Unless it ends up having 20 pages of dialogue, which the dialogue already feels pretty badly written. And again, I don't watch Law & Order, so I don't know if it's terribly written but I imagine it's not that great it, that it's just cheap entertainment they sell it that show or sold that show at least from taking real crime stories from the headlines and then barely changing them to make them fictional and putting them on TV so they weren't doing too much writing in the first place new topics can unlock as you get a witness to talk more and reveal new information new topics have been revealed um, uh, if I click this and ask about the work history, am I asking about Rachel's work history or suspicious people? I suppose the first thing you would want to do is secure the area and ask if there's somebody suspicious you think might be here. That way, in case she says, yes, there's a guy just down the hall, you can turn around and see the guy down the hall and go chase after him. See anyone suspicious hanging around lately? Yeah, the hotel is full of them. Lots of old businessmen always staring at you. Ugh. Okay, hmm. how about anyone especially interested in Rachel? No, I, I don't think so. She didn't even have a boyfriend. Hmm. 
Rachel didn't have a bit boyfriend statements like these can come in handy. They are recorded in your transcript so you can refer to him later. We kind of already knew that. We're going to just exhaust him all, so I guess that's what these icons that have now disappeared mean. How long has she worked here? No say. Um, hmm. She was pretty new. It started last month, maybe? She have any trouble hmm. with anyone? Trouble? No, not her. She was nice, you know? Quiet, polite. Actually, no, <laughs> never mind. What were you going to say? Well, she just never really seemed like one of us, you know? Like... Like she had something else going on, always hmm. watching everything and oh, and tapping on her phone. Era una adicción. The topics have been revealed, so I suppose we should be thorough and go with everything. So crazy weather lately, huh? <laughs> yeah, the kids they just want to spend all day at the pool. What's this got to do with the murder? Nothing, just talking. <laughs> Not all topics are important. Some are red herrings or misleading clues. They may be interesting, but they won't help you solve the case. Select a different topic to learn something more relevant. We should get back to the victim. Hmm. Man, you're going to spend most of the game looking at a white screen. You say she liked to use her phone. For what? You think she was earning a little extra money? Uh, what, like John's? Are you asking, did I think she was a whore detective? <laughs> I don't think so. But uh, who knows? It would explain a lot. Anything else about the phone? She was always texting. Always. Wow. She also did some weird stuff. She took pictures of the rooms and, and even some guests. For a while, I actually thought she might be a cop. Where would the phone be now? Probably nearby. She always kept it close. Wouldn't that get you fired? It would help us if we knew the last place Rachel might have been. Taking pictures you know of guests or the rooms. That's the weird thing. Today was her day off. She shouldn't even be here. So what was she doing hmm. all dressed up for work? The You're screen is... You figured it out, Guapo. Put black bars at the top and the bottom. Just to prove that you're in a cutscene. And see, the criticism you can really make for Telltale games is they literally don't do anything than have people just stand around and talk for most of the game. Sure, some of the later games had a few quick time events added, but I bet there aren't any quick time events either. Although, there is probably this idea of finding clues, so this might turn into a point click. Uh, well, I. Hidden got. object game. Seeing a lateral bruise across her throat, not finger marks, more like a pipe or a cane. No the audio seems yes, to get louder in very specific segments of a ID, word. Her purse, her day planner, or notepad, and of course any DNA evidence from her attacker might be under her fingernails. And her hmm. cell phone. Teresa mentioned that might be important. Okay, here's the thing, though. These are detectives. You know they're detectives because they're not in uniform. And that's pretty much what you uh, assume if they're police. Either way, they are most definitely not crime scene investigators. And they should wait for somebody else to uh, not to dust for prints and not contaminate the... the the scene but of course since this is a game we're gonna end up doing all of this there's a, this is an evidence screen that reminds you which pieces of evidence you're looking for once a piece of evidence is found click on this icon to for me to more detailed description so we're looking for a question mark a hand a pocketbook and an ID cell phone DNA Notebook victim's ID, so I suppose this is the cell phone, since this is the net notebook. Yeah, they're in order. Cell phone, DNA, notebook, victim's ID. You can return to the evidence screen by clicking, uh, clicking the search icon. Okay. Select the arrows of the sides to move around the crime scene. Okay. Select the right arrow to get a better 
view of the maid's cart. Hmm. Okay. If you see something you want to investigate, draw a circle around it. Uh, do you have to click to draw a circle around it, or do you just draw a circle around it? Try drawing a circle on the screen. A valid circle will be highlighted in white. Hmm. So I want to... Hmm. Some evidence might be partially hidden. Find any, find and circle all dirty, crumpled towels on the carts to find out what's hidden underneath. I'm drawing too big of a circle. Hmm. Good job removing the items as part of your job, so don't be afraid to open up trash cans and move objects when you see something trapped underneath. The counter represents how many guesses it should have taken to find all of the evidence. Each earn bonus points by discovering everything before the counter reaches zero. Continue searching for evidence by circling items of interest in the room. Anyway, so have we found the cell phone? Okay, good. We got our cell phone. Hmm. All right. It feels Rachel like Trevino, 27 years old, lives at 600 East 5th Street, over in East Village, if I remember hmm. right. So probably have to remember the address. Yeah, every circle counts, and clearly, 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 this is a Wii game. She scratched them up pretty bad, I bet. They wouldn't. Better get a swab for DNA. Like for, there's literally no other system. In the that I can think of that would have you drawing like this it, it makes no sense on PC it makes no sense on Xbox or PlayStation this could be Rachel's purse it's not coach but not hmm. cheap either someone was taking care of her bills and by doing that I could get her notebook notebook just a couple of notes what the hell does that mean? She she must be like a reporter reporting on somebody. So the target guesses was ten. Your guesses was six. So my bonus guesses were four. Uh, excellent work, great. Increase your detective rank. So already this game is kind of irritating because it, it's telling me that there's literally no way to get all 10 bonus points. So there, But at the beginning it said there was a max number of points and, and I think it was 26 so She's got I have no idea. Like, yep. Sounds I would never replay it. Okay, this is evidence. Let's get back to the precinct and give it to CSU. Why not just listen to him now? I better follow procedure on this one. Such a boy scout. Hmm. Hey, if we solve this case, I finally get my murder merit badge. Come on, I'll drive. Terrible writing. And see, these actors that are being portrayed right. aren't even from the same show. Morning, Lenny. Please tell me we got so, in the Central Park case. Oh, sure. There's Check like no, not a bupkis. No six weeks. chemistry between the two characters, really. At the bottom of the Hudson. I tell you what, I think we're stalled out, kid. I hate loose ends, Lenny. Hmm. Tell me about it. At my age, I gotta tie him up as fast as I can. Ray Curtis, as I live and breathe, back in my precinct. Their lips are barely years, moving in sync. Happened? Finally sick of all that California sunshine. My girls got worried if I wasn't solving murders, hmm. I might start committing them. You met Detective Benson? I did. She's good. Definitely easier on the eyes than Lenny Briscoe. Yeah, but she's made of steel. Don't cross her, Ray. Wouldn't dream of it. Welcome back. Thanks. Hey, I was gonna take this down to CSU. What the hell? What's wrong? The voicemails. They're all gone. 
Someone deleted them all. And odds are it wasn't our victim. Looks like her carrier is Mercury Wireless. Pete Shanahan down in fraud told me they've had some problems with security recently. Hmm. Wow. What a way to just Wireless force people. Is pretty clear. I can talk to you up to a certain point, but if we go over, I have to involve corporate counsel. They've instructed me to answer your questions and give you access to any relevant data. Understood. Wait a minute, Thanks so you've already time. talked to them? Like... So, there's five lines of question here, and we could say, deleting voicemails, who could access it, and phone records. And the annoying dropped calls, we should probably just go through all of them. I suppose. Could someone delete voicemails off a phone remotely? Sure, that's a feature we offer. How would they do hmm. it? Easy. You just need to have the account PIN number, just like your bank ATM. Could Rachel have deleted the voicemails remotely? No, she's dead. Hmm. And see that now we have a new correct. She was already dead. <laughs> Got this other phone at the time. But we still get this cutscene too. Wow. This game is light. They're, they're throwing so many flashy things and and just simplistic animations of, of uh, fade in, fade out, flash something on the screen, make, make some text show up so that they don't have to do any 3D animation. Uh, Rachel Trevino was dead when the voicemails were deleted, making it impossible. And here's a clear example of where it's also light on dialogue because everything that just happened should have happened in the conversation. Uh, my next line that I should have been able to say as the police detective is that's impossible Rachel couldn't have deleted the phone and then he should have questioned it and gone well why would that why would that be impossible and then he go because she's already dead instead of making it in a weird way apparently no penalty for clicking the wrong thing does the mercury wireless network cover most of the city absolutely we're very proud of it. No drop calls, even in the tunnels. Uh, I'm sort of thinking of switching over. Great. Curtis, where are you going with this? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I can you probably you would today. have to and switch over. A special policeman's discount. Save some money for extra donuts. Nice. Yeah. You found the red herring. The, the weird thing there is then you could potentially say, is this guy trying to bribe you or not? Uh, let's ask who could access it. We already kind of know anybody with a pen could access. Who had access to Rachel Trevino's voicemails? Um, according to our account record, only Ms. Trevino. There's no one else listed here. The only other persons with authorized access are myself, our customer representative team, and a few independent technical contractors. And I imagine it is the independent technical contractors and see he was looking down and and seeming fishy but there's literally no line of dialogue uh i believe that would imply otherwise unless i'm supposed to assume that perhaps the corporate council would have access and this is the entire transcript to the beginning of the game. Like, so, there's not going to be too much of this. Uh, anyways. Hmm. I guess maybe it's breaking it up so that we only have to focus on this one, though. Hmm. So is he lying? I'd say no. He just gave me a list of a decent amount of people. I don't know how you can say correct. Like. Hmm. Like. 
what evidence could support his his truthfulness just the fact that his previous statements have been true corporate counsel told him to be truthful you could examine the account list he just quoted uh, uh, Mr. Gray doesn't seem like a liar. He has a problem with this. It's like, I could do this and probably should as a detective. But I haven't, so that's not evidence. Uh, corporate counsel telling him to be truthful doesn't mean he will be. The only thing I guess that proves uh, his current behavior is his past behavior. So his previous statements have been true. Wow. Answering a question incorrectly during an interview or interrogation will only your strike. If you get three strikes, you'll fail the investigation and have to start all over. Which sounds awful. And this was the problem I had with Ellie Noir, too, is that there's... When you're talking about things as concrete or as truth or fiction... What about illegal fiction, access? Hacking into the account? Hard to hmm. say. Because that'd be illegal. Hmm. So, I suppose I maybe needed to go through the phone records first uh, line of conversation. Then that would have given me some kind of hard evidence to say he wasn't lying. But odds of me making two more strikes are kind of low, I suppose, also. And then, any point, I suppose I can just do this, and this is the menu you've got. Uh, it's not quite the exact same menu, though, because you can't change the dialogue. So, if these two are the cops, then I imagine this, and th this is the head detect, uh, the boss of the two cops. I imagine these two in the suits are lawyers and we will end up doing half of the uh, each episode as the cops and then half of the episodes as the lawyers if I would have thought it would have broken in between the two a little bit more but uh, I guess it just wouldn't play well as a video game because that's what it does in the TV show is I'm pretty sure is that lawyers get involved really early while the cops are still investigating anyways we've gone long enough for one episode so we'll stop here I end all my episodes the same way I ask you to like share subscribe when you subscribe click the notification bell to get notifications Comment and watch every second of my videos because all of that helps me out and tells YouTube that my videos are worth watching. If you want to friend or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, Steam, or Battle.net, all of those links are down below in the description box. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.